Welcome to Virtual Hunter. We're playing the early access Steam version, and we're playing on a MetaQuest 2 through Virtual Desktop. As we're walking up to the bow range here, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or any tips, tricks, or feedback you have for Virtual Hunter. Now in this video, I'm going to be trying out bow hunting, which we've not done before. Now at the bow range, if you stand on the block, it doesn't use ammo. So let's get our bow. Okay, we want 500 grain tracers. Let's see, we've got one target here. Another target way over there. Um, where are any other targets? Kind of hard to see at this hour, but let's grab an arrow with the trigger. Set it in the bow. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That that looks a bit better. Ooh. Too far to the left. Okay. That was better. I mean, can we go investigate that? Okay, that might have been a long shot. This is um, difficult tracking for the quest to put your controller basically beside the headset. All right. Again, too far to the left, so we got to remember that. Maybe that's because I'm... Oh, that was better. So I'm actually putting my left hand more in front of the headset and then it's going a bit straighter. We get these jaggies. Okay, that's pretty good. Bit low, bit high. Something we're gonna have to get used to. That's nice. Okay, um, where was that? Other target. Oh man, there's one way over there. That seems like a tricky shot. And that wasn't the worst shot we'd ever made, but I don't think that was a hit. Even the tracers are hard to see. This is going to be interesting, but at least we're not making a ton of noise with the bow. So hopefully we'll get a couple shots, but we really have to wait. Do we fall off our... I want to stay on the box so we don't use up ammo. I can't even see where that one went. It's too far. And um, it's a tall order to have a deer at this range. And I'm trying to see other targets here. I'm not picking any out. I don't know why I held my hand over my eyes. Like, that's going to help me see or something. You know, it's supposed to be... A number of targets. Oh, there's another box over there. So there's multiple boxes to stand on. So let's find another box to stand on so we don't use our ammo. It seems like we have a couple paths here, but I'm not seeing another shooting platform in this direction. So let's head down to this one. Well, 
Well, that's a lot closer. Maybe I should go see if I actually hit it with any of those other shots. Mm, I don't know if the arrows would stick around, but I don't see any. Okay. I mean, that's that's pretty close. Oh, I see them. They're all low in the ground there. Okay, that was a bit low. Ooh, that was a good one. That was probably a long shot. Let's go for the heart. Mm, too high for the heart. Okay, well, I think we're ready to give it a try. And uh, probably miss. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a shot at that one. And let's go see where that landed. I have a feeling it's going to have fallen short. So it's going to take some uh, time to estimate. Yeah. So when we're shooting from a, a distance, there's another target over there. But I don't see a shooting platform. That's okay. Let's just take a shot from here. And we'll use up an arrow. We've got money these days, so I'm going to aim high. I think that might have hit. Oh, there's a platform over there. Ooh, next shot. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay, let's take out our map. And... Head back to the lodge, I guess. I thought we could go to one of the outposts from that map. But it uh, looks like we're going to have to use this map. I haven't used any of the... Uh, hunting stands. I'm not sure I'll use one today, but seems like we might try that with the bow and now that we have calls going. Okay, just get our bow right out. Check the wind direction. Hmm. So kind of coming from in front of us. I guess we can cut this little green field. We want to get a nice view and then we'll do some calling. I mean this seems like a pretty good view already. Should we just try from here? get low and we'll just hang out for a bit even lower can we shoot from prone it seems like we can and let's just uh we'll kind of stick close to this tree Maybe it'll give us some cover.
try to be ready to do follow-up shots. So I believe one of the characteristics of the fallow deer is that they're more likely to be in a group. And someone mentioned that uh, because the bow isn't as loud, you have a pretty good chance of taking more than one in a group. Now, I don't know if they're programmed to be averse to the cabin. I know other animals sometimes spawn close to the cabin outpost. Just got to be a little patient. Just when I thought nothing was coming the last time, just when a couple of does showed up. No sign yet. Maybe we should move along. Try calling at another location. The morning fog is lifting, which is nice. Seems like maybe there's more green space over there. Let's start heading in that direction because that's our favorable wind direction too. Okay, let's just move into a crouch. Maybe we'll stick to the tree line just in case that call does end up bringing something in. We'll maintain a little bit of cover. A 
Oh, this is good visibility. Haven't had it this clear this early in a while. I've got my bearings. We are... Yeah. Okay, well, let's stop moving. Yeah. Still a good wind direction. Okay. Go ahead and stand till we get to the edge of this next clearing. Then we'll call again. I've only used the call once previously. Are those all boars? No, just shrubs, I think. So I know the calls are effective, but I don't know if you can like continue calling when the animal's in sight. You know, is the game going to let you do that? Is that going to be effective? Okay. Not a lot of tree cover here. Let's get to this. center line of trees here and we'll call from there where we can see that side and this this side over here and maybe have some tree cover still I think this is pretty close to where I was the last session Maybe up on that hill there. Okay. Just get between these two trees. Mm, that's maybe too close to the water. Let's go up here. And... Let's go with right here. Oh, there's a, a doe right there. Pretty small. Are they alone? I don't think we can make that shot. Not yet, at least. I'll try to catch it as it comes across here. Let's get behind a tree. Oh. I don't know if that detected us. That 
drop. Couple misses so far. That's not a good shot. Can we retrieve this? We can. All right, well. Can't win them all. At least we got a couple shots off. And they were coming from that direction, so maybe there's more. Going to be wandering through. Let's see if we can find where our arrows landed. There's one. Can we actually pick that up? Yep. And there was another over here, but I don't see it. I think we'll let that one go. That looks like it might be another one. Okay, let's get to the top of this rise and then we'll call again. I see something still moving in there. Maybe we can call it in. I don't know if that's the same one or what. Be exposed up here on this uh, hill. Still see it over there. low. That's probably the same one. Got to get a bit higher because we can't see anything. The arc of the arrows is going to take some getting used to. This seems like a pretty good view. Just hang out here for a second. Hunker down here. Go back to waiting. Between a rock and a tree.
didn't bring my binoculars. I don't know if we've ruined our chances in this spot with that one doe alerting. Maybe we'll move on. Or maybe just over to that next ridge. Let's let's move slow. Trying to make sure we don't miss any that have been called in.
Now, I was under the impression that multiple hits was detrimental to the integrity of the harvest, but that's not the case. So, probably after I let loose the first arrow, I should just continue to knock and fire. That's something over there. Doesn't seem like it's moving. Maybe just the track in the distance. This is a nice open area. Again, let's cozy up to a tree. Get low again. Yeah, pretty good wind wise. going to adjust my vision for a second. Make sure we're getting the best possible picture.
Nothing happening though. Maybe we'll head for this next tree line. See any movements or tracks. Seems like another good spot. Oh. There's three, four. Maybe I can get him a bit closer. Too far of a shot for me right now. I'm coming this way. Seems like they may come up over here. That one's not really moving at all. Pretty sure if one of them spooks, they're all going to. Can I move?
One of them turned. Just want to get to the top of this hill so we can catch them on both angles. Come in this direction. Head on though. We need to get behind a tree or something. Okay, okay, that's good. Oh, there's one right there. that one's down. That's low. It's running. We're never going to make this next shot, but Got arrows to spare. That one had a chance of hitting, I think. A little higher. Oh, too high. Well, that one seems stuck. So, if it's going to be stuck, we're going to take advantage of that. Low. Got some bit of Rambo style going on. Oh. That should have hit. Okay. That one got away. Well, it's just up there. Do we have a blood trail? Arrows all over. We'll just uh, pass it off as them being confused. Is it still up here? I kind of hear it. Oh, now it's bleeding out. That should be it. Yeah. All right. Now, where's that other one? So they're getting stuck on the terrain. Not very sportsmanlike, but we're going to clean up here. as well as practice our archery. Oh, hind quarters it looked like. That must have been a flesh wound. We're shooting too high. That was in the spine. All right, well, not how I was expecting it to go. But uh, first one we got, kind of honestly. Uh, ooh, through the leg. Flesh. Flesh, oh, hit the shoulder blade, and then spine. Taxidermize. Okay. Let's 
go take the next one. Liver and right lung was flesh. That's interesting. And left lung is flesh. Okay. And now, where was the first one? Up there, I think. from Game of Thrones. All right. Claim. One hit. Lung and liver. Score zero. Wonder why that is. All right. Let's head back to the lodge and uh, we'll see about mounting them. Loading, loading, loading. Get your wagons loading. Taking a while. It's a cooking something up. There we go. All right. So, where are we going to put our new fallow deer? Over here or over here? Okay, well, let's get our wrist computer out. Okay. Is this the date of the harvest? So it'd be this one. Mount animal. Let's do some wall mounts. Uh, we can't use one, so we have to use two. Okay. Um, let's go medium. Okay, and mount. All right. One there. Let's just go with the first one there. Okay. Uh, trophy manager. I'll do another one. Mount animal. Wall mount. Same thing. Medium. Mount. Like that. And then this one will go a different pose. Maybe you go in that way. And then for our last one, we'll put it over here facing the other way. Although, There we go.
Well, another successful hunt and virtual hunter, this time with bow hunting. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, it'd be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or any tips or tricks you have for Virtual Hunter. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.